Hello my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In yesterday's video, we did finally start the Inquisitor's Path quest, Wicked Eyes and Wicked Hearts. We are at the Winter Palace to attend the Empress of Sorley Empress of Orlais party and find out who's trying to assassinate her. We also have quests to Let's see, we have to find the blackmail, we have to find Caprice coins, and apparently we need to find Hala statues. All of them for reasons. Not sure I fully understand the reasons, but reasons. So we ended yesterday right outside of this entrance. Um, and that's where we're going right now. And let's, let's see what happens. I guess let's uh, talk to the Duke before we go in. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lord Inquisitor Adar. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, <laughs> crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. <laughs> Okay, Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? <gasps> Priceless. Yeah. Accompanying the Inquisitor. Oh, yeah. Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. <laughs> Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed. Hero of Orlais, right hand of the Divine. Madame Vivienne, first enchanter of the Circle of Magi, enchanter of the Imperial Court, mistress of the Duke of Ghislaine, renowned author, Varric Tethrys, <laughs> head of noble house Tethrys, desher of Kirkwall to the Dwarven Merchants Guild, Lord Dorian Pavus, member of the Circle of Arantium, son of Lord Magister Hallwood Pavus of Azariel, warden Blackwall of Valshaven, Constable of the Grey, bearer of the silver right wings of valor, the Iron Bull, <laughs> leader of the famed mercenary company Bull's Chargers, as the name might imply, <laughs> the Lord Inquisitor's elven servant Solus. What? Her ladyship, my bulls each, of course. <laughs> Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Honleith. Commander of the Forces of the Inquisition, former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, Veteran of the Fifth Blight, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and Left Hand of the Divine, and Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. That was really cool. I liked all those introductions. That was really unexpected. <laughs> My balls inch, of course. <laughs> Sarah, <laughs> crusher of the rebel mages. I am the crusher of rebel mages. <laughs> They're the hammer or something. That was, <laughs> I, I conscripted them. I didn't like enslave them, okay? I'm, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, I'm walking it super duper slow though. Hello, Empress Celine. Your, your outfit is quite fancy. Very Louis XVI going on around here. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lord Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, 
without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. <laughs> the weather may turn foul, an assassin is here. Um, well, we're being presented, so let's be presenterly and just be polite. It's, it's an honor. I'm delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? Um, it's lovely. I can't do a credit. Call off the ball. Uh, it's lovely. I, I, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I have never seen anything to equal the Winter Palace. We hope you will find time to take in some of its beauties. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Oh, that's, that's not going to happen, is it? Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Okay. Tell me, Yvette, uh, how are Mama and Papa? Are they in good health? Or anything? Papa's perfectly happy in the studio. Mother is the same as always. Meaning she's after you to do more work. You always take her side. <laughs> I don't take her side. I happen to think, as she does, you might attend to more of the estate's duties. Also, do stop slouching. Didn't you say, like, when I talked to you that it's your job to do everything? Although you did also say that you delegate too, so let's save. I don't want to do all that again. I feel like I, I did that fine. Let's talk to Josephine and her sister. Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this him? <sighs> Inquisitor. Please allow me to present to you my younger sister, <laughs> Yvette Gabriella Montillier. Um, a, a pleasure. Or, hello. Greetings, my lady. <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. <laughs> Is it true? Rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them. No. Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antifa says so. Is it true? Uh, no, uh, not at all. Of course not. How do people come up with these ideas? Oh, how dull Redcliffe must have been then. Uh, <laughs> what is... Nobles. I'm just going to go with nobles. <laughs> um, okay, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself, Lady Yvette. This is the first time I've encountered any of Josephine's family. She would forget to mention the artists. I've been studying painting under Antiva's royal tutors. You should be proud, Josie. I'm going to be exhibiting my work next season in the city's biggest salon. Wow. Have you actually sat down and finished a painting yet? I must wait for my inspiration. Oh. And I must wait for your tutor's bills. <laughs> uh, how, how is the evening? Enjoying the ball? I see many of The dancing is so dull, your worship, but the Empress's gallery is magnificent. Yvette. Sorry, Josie. Uh, please continue, Josephine. Go on, Josephine. Half a royal must be empty. So many of the Empire's finest are in attendance. They've noticed the Empress paying you special attention, but they don't quite know how to take advantage of it yet. This uncertainty won't last long, I'm afraid. Um, who would you support here? Which power should the Inquisition throw its weight behind? Selene has held the throne successfully for years. I see no profit in ousting her. Gaspard has run military campaigns, but never a kingdom. His transition would be, let us say, chaotic. Yes, I, I, would, I would agree with that statement. Any tales on Josephine? This may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh, yes. As she told you about when she was ten, and... Yvette, stop. <laughs> Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She uh, once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. <laughs> hmm. She still plays with a doll collection when no one's looking. Uh, <laughs> Yvette, that's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> <laughs> that is excellent. I... I'll see you later. 
I, Another time. This party is great so far. <laughs> okay, who else is down here? Let me see. Um, I have Sarah and Vivienne and Cullen and Iron Bull and there's a lower level and oh, there's so many things to see and do and see and do. Can I go out here? No. Well, before I go outside... Can you believe the Inquisition fill its ranks with upper states? You just know that will end badly. No, it won't. It'll be fine. They're, they'll be fine. We're babysitting them. Hello, Sarah. Crotchrot. Beats his squire. He's a she. As a bastard. Extra toes. What a fun, close marrying crowd. <laughs> How are you fitting in? Um, she's probably not. <laughs> Making any new friends? <laughs> not likely. I'm watching them watch you. They're all glances and titters. Not sure if they're allowed to like you yet. Pathetic. Um, that's on suspects. Any thoughts on who we're investigating? The Empress is pretty. It'd be fun to drink and kill stuff with Gaspard. Brialda is friggin' funny. Elves, elves, elves. But it's really a pissing match with an old lover. Don't know the rest, but that explains a lot. Yeah. They're all lying, but Celine's nice to look at. Good thing we're here to save her neck. <laughs> Any tips from your friends? Any hidden treasures from friends of your little network? You mean, do any of the servants ferrying tarts between these windy tits hate them enough to give up a stash or two? I'm not saying yes, but wait, yes I am. There's some good stuff hidden around. Keep an eye out. Back soon. Not going anywhere. Oh, right, Jenny's stashes. Hang on. Hang on. Sarah's contacts have tipped her off about the locations of various stashes hidden around the palace by nobles for other nobles. They're ripe for the picking. Okay. Is this a secret? A compendium of Orlesian theater. Not a secret. I don't want to leave just yet, so. Must be the door. Oh, let's look at the plaques. The Valmont Emperor's Emperor Antinier. Well, he looks very unhappy with life. And there's Vivienne Darling. And here we are. You haven't embarrassed yourself as much as I feared. Well done, my dear. Thanks. <laughs> um, what's with all the masks? I've always wondered, what's the Orlesian fascination with masks? We all wear masks, my dear, not just the people in Orlais. Who you are as a son, a lover, a friend, is not the same man who speaks for Andraste and leads the Inquisition. Orlesians codify this truth, make it visible. Mm. By giving each of these selves its own separate face, they believe they can be their truest selves unmasked. Okay. Uh, have you seen anything? Anything happening I should know. Keep an eye out for Celine's pet apostate. I've no doubt she's involved in this. Oh, she doesn't like her very much. Although, no, never mind. You're having fun, aren't you? It seems like you enjoy this, Vivian. Mm -hmm. This is the game, Inquisitor. Of course I enjoy it. If I didn't, I'd be dead by now. Any advice about the court? Any words of wisdom for navigating the ballroom? Speak to the Council of Heralds. Six of them are here tonight. The seventh member of the council is indisposed. His absence will complicate the negotiations. The council are the highest ranking players of the game. They see everything. They might know something we can use. And who do you support? Tell me, Vivienne, where do you want the crown to fall? What I want is irrelevant, darling. Orlais requires stability, and that is best served by Empress Celine. Yeah, I would, uh, just based off the information I've received, that she's not a warmonger, uh, that's what I would go with. Be ready to act when I give the signal. I need peace Always and quiet in Orlais so I can go take care of Corypheus and all of his people. Laurent was the love of my life. You remember my husband? Poor darling. Killed in the war with Feral then. Perhaps we can speak later, Inquisitor. Oh, okay. That was rather short. And we. Smile, Commander. 
He is so handsome when you smile. He is just as handsome when he doesn't. <laughs> Are they all over here hitting on Colin? Because that's <laughs> so funny. Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. Um, uh, you have admirers. <laughs> You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. <laughs> not enjoying the party then? I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. Uh, anything to report? Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Nothing that stands out. I doubt there's a single person here without ulterior motives. <laughs> right. Any advice? Do you have any advice? Orlesian social events don't fall within my area of expertise. <laughs> there are a few here we can trust. Be careful. And who would you support? Who do you think the Inquisition should support? Gaspard's claim to the throne is fair. Orle needs someone capable of responding to the crisis at hand. A military-minded leader seems the best option. We'll talk later. I'm not surprised coming from you. Yes, that you would you would think that. Well, Liliana isn't around here anywhere, so I can't deliver anything to her. It's been too long since I've had any word from Valoyou. Okay, and there is... Um, where am I? I'll go out here. Where has that servant gone? Elves, always shirking their duties. Oh, wow, you, you're horrible. And there's... Gaspard and Celine and someone else. The, okay. Um, all right. And that's that, I suppose. So what I. Is Lady Pentecost. Are Where? you happy to see me at all, Josie? It may not have been wise to attend this particular engagement, Yvette. I didn't want to come. Mother made me. At least Haram Sharal has such pretty gardens. They're so darling, I took out my parchment. <sighs> Not another book of poetry. <laughs> oh goodness, your sister seems very... Does anyone have a report on the casualties in the dance? Okay, we've done that one. We talked to Sarah. Okay, I think the only thing I can do right now is go out to the vestibule and speak with Liliana. That's what's next on my to-do list. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Celine is from her side. Empress Celine is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. There is an apostate at court. How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than court jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. Mm. Magical mind control? I, need to, I needed to know this earlier. That's worth investigating. Yeah, magical mind control? I mean, that's a lot, right? You think she's controlling the minds of the court? That's powerful blood magic. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. Okay, so we need to explore the Grand Library for information on the Empress's occult advisor, investigate Briala's agents, and all sorts of things. Okay, well, I suppose we just keep exploring. Let's see if there's any new secrets to find. No? No? The dwarves. Who does Orzammar favor in the negotiations tonight? 
King Edukun has put considerable coin behind the Empress in hopes the trade in foodstuffs will resume quickly. Okay. Anything else up here? Can I go in these rooms yet? No. How about over here? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, let's head back down. Any other gossip circles to stand in? Oh, there's Cassandra. Let's talk to her again. This ball is a waste of time, like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. <laughs> Have you seen anything yet? Have you witnessed anything noteworthy? Nothing yet. I will let you know. And what do you think of this? <laughs> you don't seem to care much for the ball. Orlesians pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption, and deceit as delightful amusements. How wonderful. Mm -hmm. We are here to save Empress Selene, and it galls me. Why does she merit our protection? The Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Olay needs in this crisis. Mm, you think so? You support the Civil War? Of course not. Chaos is what Corypheus wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selene fall and Gaspard take the throne. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. I'm getting the idea that... Stay alert. I can... We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Yeah, I imagine she hates it here. So I'm getting the idea after talking to everybody, sir, you need to calm down. That, um... I don't have to save Selene. Like, she could die. And Gaspard could be the emperor. I was gonna say king, but emperor is what he is. Would be. So, it's interesting. I mean, is there a way to, like, overthrow her without killing her? I wonder how many options there are. Don't tell me. I'll, I'll, I'll read about it after I pick mine. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Okay, let's save. And then head into the guest wing. There's a trophy room, and then there's all this stuff here. Hello, black wall. Don't I know you from somewhere? Ah. Huh. Lord Rudal de Langue, I've seen you in his company before, no? I don't think we've met, my lord. I'm just a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? Odd. Your face is so familiar. Around the eyes, especially. Ah. Uh... Perhaps without that beard? More wine. It will come to me. Huh. That was different. What's the plaque here? The Art of the Winter Palace, Triumph of the Dragon Age, commissioned by Empress Selene in honor of the Grey Warden actions at the Battle of Denerim, which ended the Fifth Blade. Oh, that's nice. Uh, what, it's more lions. Or no, wait, is that it right there? Doesn't look... Okay. All right. Let's talk to Blackwall. I'm ready for anything. Just give the word. Well, your thoughts on the politics. What do you think about all the scheming and politics? I think I'd rather be anywhere else. <laughs> Let's save the Empress and get back to where things make sense. Yeah. Say what you want about Selene's ascension. She stole the throne? She seduced her way to it? Who cares? In the years since, she's proven she is the perfect mix of strength, cunning, and grace that all they need. Mm. Gaspard, you may as well crown a bull if he wins. <laughs> he does kind of come off that way, right? So, Silverite Wings of Valor, what is that all about? So, Silverite Wings of Valor. What did you get that for? For Valor. Care to elaborate? It was a long time ago. Back when we didn't stop to boast about past victories when there was an assassin on the loose. <laughs> okay. Have you seen anything? What's the word? Seen anything yet? I just witnessed the start of a blood feud between three noble families. <laughs> but anything useful? No. <laughs> okay. Any suggestions? While I have a moment, is there anyone here I should question? I'm not well acquainted with Orlesian nobility. They rarely welcome Grey Wardens coming in with the right of conscription. Fair enough. 
Wait for my signal. So I have a little quest that has popped up at some point that says, listen closely to the elven servants. So there's something down there here. There must be something here. Oh, a coin. Well, that's convenient. But servants quarters and grand apartments. Where are the elven servants I need to listen to? Oh, there's things I want to read, but hang on. Let's listen to them first. Hello, elf. We are not serving drinks. Bother someone else. Okay. So I need to eavesdrop on conversation between servants. Where can I do that? Stairs, maybe? Interesting. Yes. The package is in the guest wing. Upper room. The one of the garden. Statuette. That is? Did I click off too early? Leave us. Okay. The Arthur Palace. Um, Lord uh, Lambert Valmont, the Swaggering Lion, carved by Natalie. It was a to commemorate something. I should read all these things before I click off of them. And then trophy room. The Art of the Wonder House. Mafarath the Betrayer. Yes, I saw lots of those in Valrio. Trophy room. What is that? It looks like a werewolf head. Huh. From Origins. Okay, let's save and then we'll go in here and see what's in here. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing's in there. Emperor Reveal. Ravel? Again, these guys look miserable. So there's some sort of package by a statue. All right. Here's my, my elven servant, Solus. <laughs> I do adore the heady blend of power, intrigue, danger, and sex that permeates these events. Okay. <laughs> this is comfortable for you? You seem more comfortable with a Grand Orlesian Ball than I'd have expected. I have seen countless such displays in my journeys in the Fade. The powerful have always been the same. Only the costumes change. Do you see anything? Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the elven servants, or I might well be invisible. I wonder how masked men live their lives without ever seeing that servants have an entire society of their own. If you want to find something useful, I would pay attention to what the servants do. Mm, I just did, sort of. Are you being treated well? Have you encountered any trouble with the nobles? The Olesians do not quite know what to make of me. I have kept to myself for fear of giving them some purchase to cling to. The food and drink are excellent, however, and the servants have been happy to refill my glass. <laughs> I'll be back. And well. Thanks. He seems awful chipper, right? Interesting. All right, let's listen. What? Boring. <laughs> Wait, who is this of? Uh, Emperor Judici Judicio. He looks thrilled. And... Gaspar is wasting his time. Nothing he does could win over the Council of Heralds now. He should have considered that before threatening to burn them all in their homes. Um, yeah, that wasn't very smart. Hmm. Look for conspicuous elven servants. Well, that's useful. Great. Oh, there's a person there I need to talk to. A compendium of our Legion theater. And Caprice Coy. Let's talk to Duke Germain of the Council. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. How curious. Uh, Gaspard is your nephew? I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspard. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? 
Um, tell me about the war. What can you tell me about the Civil War? If you are hoping for insight, you've come to the wrong man. It's war. It is brutal and terrible and sometimes necessary. There's nothing more to say. Have you noticed anything strange this evening? My niece Florian hasn't spoken to me all evening. That's not like her. All right, good evening. Another time, my lord. So, I had to talk to the council members. There was one woman who was in the, like, ballroom, I guess, and wouldn't talk to me. But he just did, which was nice. Emperor Cordulus Dragon the Great. Eight, to commemorate the 800th anniversary of the foundation of the Orlegian Empire. 800th anniversary. 800. Dang. That's a lot. And there is blood on the floor there. Okay. Well, there is a mystery afoot here, and we must put on our detective's cap and figure this all out. Well, let's look at the ceilings. Whoa, that's not as pretty as I thought it would be. But <laughs> with that sarcasm aside, um, I am going to end things here today. Tomorrow we'll pick back up right here at the uh, Winter Palace and talk to people, do our investigations, and get court approval and, and all this good stuff and, and see what happens next. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Dragon Age Inquisition video.